Hi everyone, Dr. Saul here in Beverly Hills. We have our wonderful, beautiful patient here today. Today what we're doing is arm contouring. We're going to use the uh, vibrating machine to take out some good fat. Our patient comes in with some um, thickness in the arm that she like to get reduced. When, I, when she turns around, I'll show you right here. See, this is the area I'm going to target on the lateral aspect. I'm going to get her smaller here, and medially, and underneath, we're going to go all around till here. If you're at home, you're wondering why I'm not going on the top. You want the fullness up top, because that's the adherence zone. That's where the fat and the skin adhere to the muscle. You don't want to release that. If you release that, everything falls down. You actually want this to keep this high. A couple of things. One, she has good skin for this procedure. She has no stretch marks. Her skin, will be, her skin quality is good too. Skin quality I can only see in person. When I'm doing um, telemedicine and we're doing the teleconsult, it's very hard to see the thickness of the skin. She has very good thickness and usually People of different ethnicities have different thickness, but feeling, she has very good thickness. Always the skin in the medial aspect is a little thinner, but she has no stretch marks. This is the brachial uh, groove, the bicipital groove right here. I'm gonna etch that for her a little bit. We're gonna reduce this. We're gonna reduce all this area and all this. Her arm is probably going to be reduced by at least a third to a half. You can see once I do all that, it's going to get very small. Here's the other side. Again, we're going to get the lateral aspect, come to the elbow all the way to the top, and then medially we're going to get all this stuff, and there's the bicipital group. I'm thinking somewhere between about 300 to 350 uh, per arm, so looking about 700 cc's. Let's see what you guess, and when we're in the OR, we'll let you come in and see how much we actually get out in the bucket. She's gonna look fantabulous. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Dr. Saul here in the operating room. A uh, few people, more than a few, asked when we did the brachioplasty if I do the lipo contouring of the arm under local. How are you, dear? I'm good. How's it going? Really good. Really good? Mm -hmm. You're resting well? Yes. Do you feel any sharpness at all? No, not at all. Am I doing a good job? You're doing great. Ah. Uh, so right now, I, my instrument is a proprietary instrument I had made for myself from the company, which helps also with the laser to tighten the skin. Uh, I'm not going to show you the tip of it. It looks like a cannula, but it's something I use it. Uh, maybe some people other out there use it, maybe they don't. But definitely it's one thing that helps me get better skin tightness. Uh, are you feeling much? No, not at all. Okay, very good. So uh, you can see how it's loosening up the fat. Look at the la laser melted fat. Look at how small it is. It's coming out itself. I mean, this is not even up to suction. You see the end is closed. There's no suction and my instrument is already getting little pieces of fat. And look at how small they are. Look at those little bitty pieces of fat. The smaller the fat you take out, the better it is. You don't get a large deformity. So you can see, even without any suction or anything, she's, uh, the fat is just begging to get out. And that's what we're here for, right? Yes. Maximize the fat outtake. Uh, while you guys were away, we did the right arm. Uh, you know, I was just trying to see what you guys would say about the numbers, but I'll let you the cat out of the bag. On the other side, we got 850 cc's of fat, believe it or not. So my 350 was just to throw you guys off. I knew I would get more than 300 out of her, but uh, I just wanted you guys, you know, we never stop. There's no amount that I say, oh, I'm only going to take out 200 cc's. Sometimes people have deeper pockets 
So it's just, I go by the feel. You can see my hand is always on the patient and uh, we're always, no, I always know where I am. One other interesting thing is, look, there's no bleeding. This, you have less bleeding in this procedure than a paper cut. If you get a paper cut at home, I promise you, you bleed more than when, while I'm doing this procedure here today because I use so much tumescent, but adequate am amount where the patient is comfortable and there's no bleeding, it's just tumescent fluid. Again, I don't, I'm not gonna show you guys the tip because you know, that's my own thing I have. Uh, the only one who knows about it is my staff. Don't try to contact them. They've signed a, a non-disclosure and don't try to torture them to get it out of them. Uh, but you can see how, look, without even suction, fat is coming out and melted away. Look at this, incredible. And she's almost ready after the laser and my own instrument which helps loosen it up. The next step is uh, taking out the fat. So I'm gonna move away my instrument. And now we're going to start with the uh, suctioning. So this one you guys can see, this is the vibrating suction which I use. And look at how small it is. Really, it's not that big. As I tell you guys, the smaller, the better, because it doesn't leave large deformities. We're gonna turn on the suction now. This is the bicipital groove. I'm gonna edge her a little so she looks like she's working out all the time. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Is this better when you go to get a massage? <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking. I know a massage would hit the spot, but be careful. Wear your mask when you're getting a massage. Oh, yeah. Do you feel anything? Or is it like a nice vibrating, right? It's a vibrating, yeah. Not nice vibrating feeling. Anything sharp? No. I mean, you're laying here like you're resting. I almost fell asleep twice. You're what? I almost fell asleep twice. You almost fell asleep twice? Oh my God. <laughs> I'll make sure I take you once in a while. <laughs> so everything is going well. As you know, we finished your other side. We got very good amounts out. We're getting tiny little specks of fat out. Very nicely coming out. And the smaller the instrument, the better it is because it leaves little chance for a deformity. And of course, I have all sorts of instruments on my tray. Well, we're starting out with this one and see how it goes. You doing okay, right? Very good. Did I tell you we got 850 cc's of fat from the other side? I asked the nurse. Okay. That's, that's about a good one pound off there. So I lost a pound already. I'm sorry? So I lost a pound already. Already? <laughs> By just laying here. <laughs> In the lab, we're done with the case. Look at how thin her arms are. Look at, look at it's just skin. She has more thickness here than here. Look at how nice and thin it is. We went all the way here through this small incision here and here. We went the lateral. You could see, as I told you beforehand, the top needs to stay on. But you can see how much smaller she is and it's blended in. And look at the other side. Look at how nice and thin everything. The skin is gonna retract some through a small incision. Everything is gone. And let's look at the canisters. Come over, let's take a look. So here's the canister, you can see. It's about, you can see the 900, right above the 900 little fluid here. So it's about 850. We had 850 in the last canister. I think we're pretty close to even, and uh, we got significant amount of uh, fat out. I wanna know what you guys were guessing out. 850 
cc's it's about a bottle of wine a bottle of wine which you guys drink at home normally just to give you a reference level is 750 ml this is 850 ml so it's just short of a liter bottle of coke but more than a bottle of wine so we took out two bottles of wine from her arm in about an hour 15 an hour and a half and she's going to have spectacular results stay tuned